guys, welcome back to the Cyber Roaster build. So as you may know, this is a chop top. The roof went like this and the autopilot cameras on the windshield went like this, right? So it's looking up at the sky. Someone paid $12,000 for the FSD option on this car. So I have to make it work. Come along as we figure this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another Model 3 in here, point the cameras at the door and mark where they are. Obviously this one's a lot lower. That's where I'm gonna figure out where the cameras need to point. Funny how these are the same cars. Let me do this and mark where the tires are. So right now what I'm trying to do is Let's see where the laser lines up with these autopilot cameras right here, which are right, mostly right there, all three. Okay, it looks like it's right on the line right there. So what I'm gonna do is let's mark where this blue line is right there. Right here? Okay. Right here. So take a look at this, where, where the laser is shining. So we're basically like from a distance of eight feet so it's pointing downwards. I 100% when I put the cyber ulcer in here, it's probably going to be like somewhere up here and it needs to go. It, you can tell it has a gradual, you know, slope downwards and these are pretty sensitive. So let's uh, now let's get the cyber ulcer in here, see where it's at. Oh wow, this is where that Model 3 was right there. This is where we are with the side roaster <laughs> all the way up there. It has to come down all the way like this, all the way to here. Disregard the uh, headliner because it's work in progress. Check this out. So this right here, here, this screw is to ju adjust the pitch of the cameras. Where I need to go. Take a look at the camera. Watch this. Hopefully I got enough room to bring it down that much. Uh -oh. uh, that's, it. that's it. all I can go right there. That's as much as I can go. So right now it's literally right where the other Model 3 was right there. It needs to come down all the way to here. The whole two of these sections. Um, all right, so check this out. There is four bolts that are holding this whole, you know, setup together. So there's two back here and two in front. I loosen the front bolts. Look at this. If I if I bring it down like that, look at that. That's actually lower than I need it. This is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take these washers right here, put them in, in between, look at this, like this. And that's gonna be my spacer to bring this whole setup, lean it, lean it forward. And that will, that'll be just enough right there. And I, I, then I can actually adjust it with that, uh, that other bolt right there. 
let's uh let's try it it's gonna be kind of tough to get in there <laughs> it worked it works the screw is just long enough there's about maybe three revolutions that you know it can go into the thread perfect look that's exactly where i need it <laughs> perfect so Guys, if you want to do this, just get six washers, put them in the front of the, uh, you know, the front bolts, and uh, you have autopilot. Actually, I don't know yet. I didn't calibrate anything, so. But <laughs> that's the main cameras that need to be have the correct pitch. I just put it exactly where it's supposed to be with six washers. So the next step is basically testing. I'm going to recalibrate, I'm going to erase all the calibration, and um, tomorrow we're going to start testing. I'm happy I figured that part out. All right, so that's pretty much all I can do for tonight. It's 11 p.m. I'm going to come back tomorrow bright and early, bring this thing out, reset the calibration, and uh, I'm pretty confident that this will work. We'll find out tomorrow. All right, guys, it's the next day. I'm excited to find out what's going to happen. So the fix was basically the three autopilot cameras on the windshield, the pillar cameras and the rear camera. But the main ones were, you know, the windshield cameras, which were pointing up at the sky like that. They have to have a gradual slope. Fixed it, put it right on point. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what we're gonna do is refresh the calibration. Where is it? Um, camera, camera calibration. So we're going to clear this. It may take up to 100 miles. Calibration is clear. See, that's the old one right there. That circle is going to fall back to basically from the beginning. That's still showing the old one, 57, 34%. Uh, watch it. It's going to clear. Okay, take a look at that. So it went back basically down to zero. This is the navigation autopilot showing zero, FSD beta, zero. Let's see how long it'll take. I'm gonna give you guys updates, you know, as, uh, as the uh, little circle kind of starts to progress. We just drove, how much? Six miles. And take a look at this. Uh, the FSD beta, 50%. Autopilot 63 and the summon is at 47. It, this circle just went from zero to like two thirds. So this could calibrate pretty soon, actually. It's going way faster. Last time I drove for like, like two days straight and it wouldn't go past 75. It just got stuck at 75. And right now it's after six miles, it just boom, jumped up. Um, so I think we're gonna find out pretty soon whether or not this is gonna calibrate. All right, we are at only 11 miles and it is really close. That uh, blue wheel is like, at, I, I wanna say like 85%. I mean, so many freaking people looking, it's insane. Um, and pretty much at the same time, I think the uh, calibration will finish pretty soon. Let's put on the camera. Mm. Look at that. Mm. I love it. Give myself a pat on the back. What else would you like? Speak to me. What would you like me to throw at you? Some people? Some pedestrians? I mean, you know, to look at the camera, not at the car. Um, <laughs> Do you see that? See that lady? You see it? it? Didn't pop up on the screen. She was pretty big. <laughs> You're not even pushing it, huh? No. I'm 
kind of like just easing into it and it's, <laughs> it takes off like crazy. We are like in the heart of Placer County right now. Cops here, if, if you do something, they, they got four foot night sticks. So what we're gonna do right now is we're pulling into the Tesla dealership to supercharge. To see if this thing, thing will supercharge. I don't even know. Let's find out. Oh, it's at 99% FSD and not, yeah, 99% summon. Should I drive into the uh, service area? Those guys are still back there looking, look. <laughs> um, decided not to go try and charge right now. There's a bunch of people. Um, let's finish this calibration before I go attempt to supercharge. We're at 99 right now, both FSD and Summit. Driving around some neighborhood. Still stuck at 99. Uh, it's kind of refusing to hit that 100 mark. Kind of worried. After 90 miles, I started to lose hope that this is gonna work. But then unexpectedly, I hear the chime. Hold on. It just finished! Oh my God, guys. Guys, I have... Woo, I feel lightheaded. It's done. The car has FSD, the car has Summit Beta. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was so worried for the longest freaking time. It's done. All right, let's go test it out. All right, guys, the FSD works. That was the main thing on my mind this whole time I was building the car I'm like am I really gonna be able to make this work um, but I was like you know main focus is get the exterior done and uh, I did rig the cameras here up front obviously the side cameras the rear camera all those cameras were different and I was like on the back of my mind it's always like is it really gonna work because this system is super super sensitive but as we've seen today this car has FSD the side roadster now has FSD this, this is a big one, big one for this build because the autopilot FSD works. And I'm gonna be able to drive this car from my phone, like summon it on the other side of the parking lot somewhere. Let's go to the mall, you know, and have the car come all the way back around. So now I'm getting onto the interior. I had to, you know, completely get the outside done. Make sure everything's done on the outside because the pillar cameras, I had to switch them up a couple times, few times actually. Uh, next step is the interior. As you can see, this is still original pieces. I had to cut it up, kind of fit it. Um, it's going to be about 50% OEM, 50% new. And these door panels will change. I'm not going to have this wood, obviously. And uh, guys, the cyber plaid is coming. That's going to be an epic build. What I learned from this build, I'm going to carry on to that one. I'm so excited for that one, but I'm tempted. I am so tempted to basically jump on that build. I have everything, but I'm like a caged lion, you know? <laughs> Just let me loose, but I can't. I'm restraining myself because this thing needs to, you know, be complete. That was a milestone just now. The FSD is done. Now the interior shouldn't take long. I'm not gonna overthink it, not gonna overdo it. The exterior is done. That was the presentable part. Um, inside is gonna be pretty easy. Guys, come along with me on this journey. Like, share, subscribe. Peace. Guys, there's one more thing that I've been working on almost as long as this car, which is ceramic coating. I had to find the best of the best. This right here will outperform pretty much all the two-stage ceramic coatings. You can put this on wrap. You can put this on the Cybertruck. I noticed that's a good one too. Like for example, you know the fingerprints? I had to find, narrow it down like this car. Like for example, all the little details. I had to change, if, if something I could change, I did it. I was so picky about everything. So it's like, same thing with this. I'm not gonna put my name on it if it's not the best stuff on the market. It's on Amazon right now. You guys, if you wanna support what I'm doing here and the next build, this is the best way to do it. 
ceramic coating by Cyber Hooligan. I'm going to put the link in the description.